Please stand up.
Sigma!
Xi'an. And Mary, too. Welcome. Kevin, I... I know. You're scared, aren't you? You don't know what you should do, or even who you are. You don't know where you belong. You don't need to be afraid any longer. I'll give you those answers. Kevin... I once felt the same way as you do. When this planet was destroyed, I lost everything. Even my sense of who I was. It was then that he appeared before me. Wilhelm, you mean? Wilhelm? Vector CEO? This is what he said to me. Because of a certain phenomenon, our world is on the path to destruction. The universe is slowly but surely being destroyed. No one can stop it, even if they had the power of God. The universe is going to die? But do not despair. There is one way to save this universe. And that's eternal recurrence? If we are fated to die, then we shall stop our history at a certain point and restart it. And we shall repeat that process eternally. How do you feel about our world? What do you want to do with this world that drove you into the pit of despair? I hate the world. A universe like this one is better off gone. And then, I can live in a new universe with Mom. That's a good answer. You should accomplish that dream. I'd be happy to aid you, Kevin Winnicott. He'd been preparing for this since before the loss of lost Jerusalem. Ormus, Vector, even the Federation all existed under his will. After that meeting, I joined the Zohar research team as Joachim Mizrahi's assistant. To prepare for the day that would come. To awaken Mary Magdalene, I created Cosmos as her vessel. In it, I placed her consciousness, which had dissipated in the UMN, and entrusted her to you. So, every- I feel sick just hearing it. You heard him, Xion. He planned everything from the beginning. He was just using you as well. Kevin, when you died, was that all just an act? No, it was real. I died on that day. In order to obtain power, it was necessary to cast aside my physical body. I needed to deepen your bond with Cosmos for Mary's awakening. By removing myself from your life. I can't believe it. You've got to be kidding me! Everything you've done has been a lie! You're the biggest con I've ever met! Xi'an, I'm sorry about what I've done to you. But I want you to understand. To save you and the world, I had no choice. With this power, 
I can free you from the terror of death. I can spend eternity with you. I want to save you, Xion. Kevin. How can you say that? Alan! You try to make it sound good, but in the end, all you were doing was using her. It's to protect her life. You think you're allowed to do anything you want if you think it'll protect someone's life? That it's all right to ignore the Chief's feelings? I refuse to accept that way of doing things. You refuse to accept it? Do I need to request your approval? The fact is, she will die. Are you saying that you will accept Xion's death? That you will abandon Xion to her suffering? No, I... that's... but... Pathetic. If the world could be saved through passion, all of this would have been unnecessary. Now, come, Xion. You've done more than enough. You don't need to sacrifice yourself anymore. It's all right to think about your own happiness. You know, don't you? That there's no place for you there. Oh. Chief, don't go! Listen, you bastard! Leave Xion alone! Stop! Don't hurt him! Xion? Are you serious? Xion. Jin? Xion, you know what he's trying to do. There is a shadow in his heart, and yet you still intend to go with him? I don't know. I don't know what I should do. I'm tired. I don't want to hurt anymore. None of you saved me. Only Kevin has made a place for me. Xion, none of us want you to suffer. Don't you understand that? I do understand, but that's why I hate it. I've had my fill of pity. And isn't it already too late? It's not like you understand other people's feelings. If you had, Pellegrin might not have had to die. Xion! Chief, that's not true! So then you're serious about this? Yes. That's right. I've decided that I'm gonna go with him. Don't interfere anymore. I understand. Jin, stop! No matter what happens, I intend to do what I must to save our world. Make sure your decision reflects that. But, Jin... Xion, you've got to stop this! There's still time! You've got to listen to him, Xion. Please don't go. I'm sorry. Xion! That's enough. Just give up. Xion has made her decision. Your roles are over now. Stand down, and listen to the words of God. Like hell I will! Look, Xion! If that's what you're gonna do, I'm not holding back! I'm bringing you with us even if I have to beat you up! Sorry, but I'm afraid I can't hand over my sister to you. You let your own sister die? What a heartless brother. 
Kennedy Kaiser Sigma. Stop! Please stop this! Get out of the way, Alan! Yes, I'm afraid I'll have to ask you not to interfere. No, I won't move. Chief, guys, everyone get a hold of yourselves. What are you all trying to prove by fighting like this? I've had enough. I didn't come here to do something meaningless like this. We're all fighting to protect the universe so we could all survive, right? You still don't understand? The cries of the powerless is what's meaningless. Your pathetic voice will reach no one. That's enough, Kevin. Are you saying you're the only ones who can save the world? Are you saying that it's impossible for us? Exactly. You cannot save the universe or Xion. That's not true. Everyone here is resolved to face this fight. No one can laugh at that resolve. Resolve? Do you think we Testaments lack resolve? Yes. You lost confidence in your ability to live as human beings and just ran away. Because they were scared of death. Because they couldn't stand being weak. Virgil, Voyager, Yuriev, and even Ormus. They were all just trying to run away from the harshness of reality. The power of the Testaments? All you're doing is using that tremendous power to run away. Then are you saying you have that resolve? You have no power. You can't even win the heart of the one single woman you love. What resolve does a man like you have? That's right. I'm a weak human being. And to you, I'm only an insignificant, powerless creature. But I'll never leave the Chief and run. I will stand firm on this spot and save her, no matter what. Very well. you going to stand firm? Look at you. You're pathetic. You think you can save Xion? Stop it. Xion? Just leave him alone. Please, he can't even stand up on his own. He can't do anything else now. You really are pathetic, Alan. How does it feel to be pitied by the one you love? Do you really want Xion's sympathy that much? Sympathy? You don't understand Chief's suffering like I do. 
I understand her feelings. Her pain and her sadness. And despite that, she struggled alone to do everything that she possibly could. You don't have any idea how much she's been hurt. Or how she's suffered. How could anyone like you understand? You have no idea how much she's cried! Ellen, please, that's enough! It's alright. You've done enough. Why do you have to suffer like that? You see, I wanted to cry in her place. And I wanted to be the one to feel her pain. Because I wanted to spend my life together with her. I know that I may not be able to do much in this world. But I would do absolutely anything for her. So then do you think you can take her away from me? Xion may find your feelings to be too much of a burden for her. Even if that was the case, the feelings I have won't ever change for her. Like you said, I'm a pathetic man. All I could ever do was watch her from afar. But there's no way I would ever abandon her. I won't lose to someone like you who has only run away. I'm taking Xion back, no matter what happens! All right then. I shall grant your wish. Mary! You're almost there, Alan. Cosmos? It's all right, Alan. I too understand your feelings. I can feel your pain. And I can also feel Xion's pain. Cosmos... But I... Let's go now, Alan. Let's go to Xion. Stop! Why are you doing something like this, too? What are you doing, Mary? Is this your will? You know that will be defying Wilhelm. I must protect Xion. No matter what, his will is irrelevant to me. I see. Then you truly are a failure. Mary's consciousness changed inside you, and awoke as something different. You're not the will of Mary as it should be. Xion, please tell me. Is this what you really want? Do you really want to betray everyone? Doesn't this make you sad? Stand back, Mary! wanted was to be with you, even if that meant that I was being used, even if I was being deceived. As long as I could be by your side, I thought it didn't matter. But now I know that's not true. It's wrong for me to sacrifice others for it. If I do that, if I run away into the past, all I'm doing is repeating the misery inside me. What, uh, Xion? What are you saying? I do love you. Dearly. I'm sure we would be happy together. There's nothing that I would want more. But... I can't stand the idea of being the only one who finds happiness. If I can't share it with everyone, 
then there's no meaning to happiness. And I don't want to be alone anymore. Xion, no! Are you... Are you leaving me? If you force me to choose, I won't hesitate. Stand with them to save this universe. Xi'an, listen to me. Accept my words, Xi'an. If you reject me, you will die. Kevin, listen to me. I cannot be with you. I am no longer your tool to play with. I see. But I will not hand you over voluntarily. Instead, I will eliminate those who confuse you. Kaiser Sigma! Is that your will? Is this really the result you desired? Kevin... Xi'an, you're confused. You're unable to make calm decisions about where you stand. Please stop, I don't want to fight you. Xi'an, I don't want to hurt you either. Why can't you understand my feelings? Stand down, Kevin Winnicott. Time's up. Wilhelm! 
It seems I expected too much from you, Kevin. Uh, ah. Kevin! Impossible. How'd he transfer them? I had a feeling it wouldn't be a good idea to leave them in your hands any longer. They all appear to have awakened, so I'll go ahead and retrieve them from you. You don't mind, do you, Yeshua? Shion, your will is even stronger than I expected. You are truly worthy of being the Maiden. Now I will make use of that power. Please wait! Shion is still... I told you to stand down, Kevin. Cosmos failed, and you lost Telos as well. Even the Maiden with the key has left you. Acknowledge the truth. You were unable to fulfill your role. Your Wilhelm? What is Vector's CEO doing here? That is one of the phrases that defines me. However, words give people many forms. Vector's CEO, Head of Hyams, Ormus Patriarch. The Federation Executive Committee Director. All of those are nothing more than phrases that define me. They each define me, yet none of them are me. So far, the only one who can define me is you, Yeshua. Now, Shion, I'd like to start Zarathustra with the key you hold. I have no intention of doing that. I expected you to say that. You foolishly chose your death over restoring your time with Kevin. The preciousness of limited life, the beauty of death. You're intoxicated by that narcissism. It's such an incredibly human choice. But unfortunately, your life doesn't matter to me at this point. All I need is your power as the Maiden, the Key, and Mary. Are you perhaps bewildered? Zarathustra is one of the systems created by people in ancient times. 
It was used to ascend to the realm of God. It was orchestrated by Mary, and its power source was you. Right, Yeshua? But it didn't turn out the way they expected. God did not permit mankind's actions. So in order to prevent the destruction of the universe, I bestowed upon it a certain role. That's right, Yeshua. The destruction you will bring. Chaos? Who are you? Everything that makes up this universe is connected by the collective subconscious. Redoing everything from nothing by acting upon that collective subconscious and sending everything into the flow of imaginary time. This is the role I gave to the Eternal Circle, Zarathustra. Udu is God himself. The two Abels exist as Udu's observational terminals for this lower domain. In order to assure the continuation of our world, we must seal them away. We will cover the eyes of God, remove his influence from this world, and affect the recurrence of wills through Zarathustra. And that is precisely the reason why I exist. Xion, you are the maiden. When you use your key, Mary can lead the wills from throughout the entire universe to Zarathustra. You're wasting your time. I have no intention of activating a system like this. Besides, mankind doesn't want that. We're all fighting to live this moment. Are you sure? Large numbers of wills have already gathered here on their own. They all reject the world as it is now and wish for days long past. That can't be. There's no way everyone will reject the universe. The Gnosis. Yes. Gnosis are the form of people who have rejected others and the world. They seek salvation. Faced with being overcome with loneliness and fading away, they choose instead to return everything to the beginning. Mary and I shall give them what they seek. The eternal recurrence. Are you ready to help now? You must be joking. No! I'll never do what you say! I see. That's too bad. For I am not as kind as Kevin. interest in what happens to her and I don't care. I only need her desire to use the key, even if I have to force her. <laughs> that is... the reason why she is here. Stubborn, aren't we? How long can you stand it? Chief! Stop! Stop it! If you don't stop, she'll... Cosmos, help her! Hurry! Shion. Mary, I forbid you to interfere. Understand? Mm. Cosmos! What's wrong? Hurry! You're wasting your breath. Mary understands what must be done to save this universe.
It's all right, Xi'an. Cameron, are you there? Help me, please. Cameron, help me. Are you satisfied now? <gasps> Why act surprised? Everything has occurred as expected, including your act of betrayal. You knew? Of course. What you seek is not order for the universe, but only for your own personal desire. An eternal world for the two people in love. That's right. I have no attachment to this world. But I cannot lose Xion! For love? Ridiculous. That has no value. to feel her pain, Kevin? Now, Shia, have you changed your mind? No. No. Honestly, stubborn, aren't you? Then how about this? Mary, bring Shion here. What's wrong? Xion will continue to suffer eternally, not permitted to die. You're the only one who can release her from her pain. No, Cosmos! Don't do what he says! Are you sure, Mary? You don't want to lose Xion, do you? This fate has been destined right from the time you sealed Anima. How does it feel to be betrayed by someone you once trusted, Xion? In order to save you, Mary intends to ignore your will and activate Zarathustra. Very good. You have done well. With this, we will be able to live forever. Cosmos! What are you doing? Mary? You fool. Now this universe will be completely destroyed. Even Yeshua will perish. Mary, is this what you really want? I am not Mary. I am... Cosmos.
Even this will help. Oh? Are you going to use yourself as a shield to protect her? Kevin! We've been rejected by this world and by them. Humans. Mere humans are rejecting me? Impossible. It is unthinkable. They don't understand how precarious this universe is. This frail world standing on a thin thread. If that balance is tipped, everything will be lost. We're the ones who don't understand. They are trying to walk their own path under their own power. They're saying they will walk across that thread with full knowledge of what it means. They'll never be able to do that. Really? I think it's possible. Chaos? Yeshua, I didn't expect to hear you say something like that. This world is more flexible than you think. Even as we speak, ripples are spreading throughout the entire universe. Are you saying you're going to release your power? You're a failsafe implanted in this universe. If you release your power, there will be more to worry about than just ripples. And besides, it's too late now to suppress their wills. If it was only me, that's true. But I'm not by myself. I see. Are you saying you've come here to challenge your own fate? That's a fascinating decision. But unfortunately, it looks like you're a little late. What's happening? Zarathustra has gone out of control. If it continues like this, the universe will eventually dissipate and vanish. Stop it! Stop the system now! If I should stop it, then what? What will you do with this tremendous energy? With these countless wills that reject each other, that have nowhere to go? Are you implying that you know how to heal them? The world can only be returned to the beginning. Come, Mary. Help us guide them into the past. There is no other way for us to save this world. <sighs> what do you think you're doing now? I refuse. To continue, to let you do as you please. How foolish of you. Kevin, don't you know that your body will perish from this world if you continue to do that? I won't be the only one. You will perish as well, Wilhelm. So, you do this with full knowledge. Shion! I'm suppressing the system's energy! Hurry! You must destroy Zarathustra! But Kevin, you... Don't worry about me. Concentrate on the system. This won't mean anything if you don't stop it. Shion, it's true, he's right. The future isn't set in stone. With the power of your wills, you can shape it into the future you desire. Ugh! 
Trinity Kaiser Sigma! Understand what you're doing, Yeshua? Abel's controlled by the system and I'm the operator. If I should somehow suddenly vanish, this world and the universe will... You may be right, but I... I want to believe in the light of human beings' will. Very well, then. Is that your answer? That does sound like you. Yeshua. I wanted this from the very beginning. Since the day when I first met you, I may have been waiting for this day to come. I'm sorry, Shion. It's just that I... You don't have to tell me. I understand. I know that you placed everything inside here. Shion. They're the precious memories you and I blossomed with our love. Thank you, Kevin. Because of you, I have... I've been able to make it this far. Because of you, I'll keep going. That's right. You'll be fine now. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to see you smile again. Hang in there. The world is waiting for you.
Goodbye. Goodbye, Kevin. Farewell. What's going on? The system is still out of control. Damn it! Isn't there any way to somehow stop it? Don't worry. So... That is your wish? So it's decided? Yes. <gasps> this phenomenon is being caused by the wills. The Gnosis gathered in Zarathustra with nowhere to go. Together with Abel, I will gather all those wills into me and dimensionally shift this entire region of space to the land of origin. The land of origin? Lost Jerusalem. A planet once called Earth. Earth? Our homeland? We cannot stop the universe's accelerating dissipation. The true destruction of the universe. But the potential brought by the light of your will is unlimited. If you, if mankind, has enough time to build upon your feelings, then perhaps... And you will provide us with that time? Yes. I, Abel, and... Shion, you're not the one who guided this universe to destruction. Ever since the moment I've existed, my power of anima has caused the universe to tread the path toward destruction. Your power of anima? To prevent the destruction of the universe, and to save me, Mary separated the power of anima into the vessels and sealed them, costing her life. Sealed by her, I lost my power and became a spectator. All this time, I didn't know what the meaning anima, this power, held, or why I had this power. But now I finally know what it means for me to use this power. You taught me that. Chaos. Everyone, this region of space will soon undergo a dimensional shift. Unfortunately, I don't have the power left to help you escape. I want you to get away somehow before this region is destroyed. What about you? Everything follows the flow. Don't worry. We'll meet again. I'm sure of it. Chaos! Chaos? What's gonna happen to this universe? Don't worry. When we disappear, the speed of this universe's destruction will slow down. But we can't stop the destruction itself. At best, this universe will last another few tens of thousands of years before it perishes. Listen to me, Xion. The key to saving all lies in the land of origin, Lost Jerusalem. I and the Gnosis, the wills of countless people, will all return there. For mankind to survive, you must do what must be done in this universe. And then, come find Lost Jerusalem. Xion, I know you and the others can do that. Here you are, 
After all this time, I finally found the real you. And now, we are going to be apart again. The time we'll spend apart will be an instant in the flow of universal time. I know we'll meet again. So please don't be sad, Xi'an. <laughs> That's unusually vague, coming from you, Cosmos. <sighs> I think it is the most natural thing for me to say. That too is because of you, Xi'an. Thank you. No. Thank you for everything. You've given me so much. Cosmos. I'll see you soon. Yes, see you soon. begin. Cosmos, release my power now. Very well. Yes, you are. Wandering wills, come to the cradle within you. Is probably gathering them. No, they're behaving very strangely. They don't want to go. What? The Gnosis are objecting. They are refusing to join as one. No, they're afraid. No, that would mean that Chaos and the others will... Jin, go back. They're in serious danger. No, we can't. Have you forgotten about the duty that they have entrusted us with? They stayed behind for us. Xi'an. Xi'an, let's go. We have things we need to do. Isn't that right? Come on. I 
guess it isn't possible for me to guide all the wills. More time is needed to complete the dimensional shift. Cosmos! Please protect this place until then. Understood. afraid that Chaos and Cosmos won't be able to handle that many Gnosis by themselves. If I go in Asher, I'll be able to help them out a little. No, Jin! You can't go alone! We're going to go with you! Xion, you know that you already have other things that you must do. What are you saying? I don't want you to go, Jin! I need you! I can't do anything alone! Listen to what you're saying. You're not alone. You have all these wonderful friends. Xi'an, I know that I was never a very good brother. I did nothing but cause you pain most of the time. I always regretted not spending more time with you. So please, let me be your brother one last time. I don't believe it. How can you say that? It's not fair of you to say something like that to me now. I'm the one who was wrong, not you. You always thought about me. I knew that you did. But I was the one who couldn't admit my real feelings. I was embarrassed or uncomfortable or something, and so I'm the one who pushed you away. I'm the one who caused you so much pain, and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for it, Jim. Forgive me. Please forgive me. What are you apologizing for? You're a wonderful sister, and you always have been. You've experienced nothing but suffering your whole life. So you have every right to be as happy as you possibly can be. Oh, Jim. Alan, my friend. She's a troublesome girl, but please take care of her. Yes, Jin. Thanks. Remember what Chaos said. He said that we'd all meet again. And besides, as a scholar, I have some interest in this land. This special land called Lost Jerusalem. Jin. And now, I bid you all farewell. See you soon. to be your sister. So... So thank you. Thank you. Jin. Of course, I'm actually terrified. But I know in my heart this is what I must do. Well, Asher, we've got one final job to do. Let's go. The UMN columns throughout all regions of space are disappearing! 
Communication with each region is gone. Unable to determine cause. What did you say? It's spreading with incredible speed. At this rate, it'll be less than ten minutes before every single column is gone. Togashi. Wait a minute. What the hell is going on over there? Damn it! They keep coming at us one after another! Don't you know you're supposed to accept people's kindness? Momo, are you alright? Yes, I can keep going. this. Do not worry. I'm sorry. Thank you, Jin. Little Master, it's good to see you're still alive. Captain, emergency takeoff! We're getting out of here now! Roger that. Uh, wait a minute. What about Chaos and the others? It's all right. Don't worry about them. They have things they have to do, and so do we. Now let's go. I see. <laughs> That's just like him. All right, Tony, full speed ahead. Okay, here we go. quiet before in my whole life. 
This is what I sought. And yet, now that the time has finally come, I long for the noise of the past. I long for those hectic and chaotic days that once were. But this too is pleasant in an odd sort of way. Yes. <sighs> the time has come for me to move on. Xi'an. Jin! <gasps> Right. Any time, Nephilim. Jin, it's time. Jin. Thank you, Jin. there. Cosmos. Xion. Thank you. I know that I failed to protect you back then. But this time, I will. I'm leaving the rest to you now. Xi'an. we need to do. The future they entrusted to us is... Chaos! Jin! That's... <gasps> Captain! Eleven o'clock! There's a column! It's out there! There's still one left! How can that be? All of the columns are gone! There's a column out there. 
It's fading quickly, but I detect a single column pulse. For real? It's chaos. I know it's chaos. They're protecting us. What's the location? Coordinates B03117. It's right by us. All right. Course change. Coordinates B03117. I'm on it. 60 seconds to effective column pulse range. Damn it! Is this the end? Little master, have you ever listened to Wagner? This ship is a Lohengrin class passenger freighter. Its form is like the Night of the Swan. Tony! Over boost! Aye, sir! No EPR radar and no data from the UMN. I'm unable to determine our position. Are we in the far reaches of the universe? Huh? <laughs> What's that? A transmission? No way! There's no UMN, so how can there be a transmission? Talk about obsolete communication methods. This is an electromagnetic type transmission. Can we respond? Yes, I'll give it a try. You're going already. The only clue we have is the fragmented information left in the Y data. And with the loss of the UMN, you won't be able to use any transfer flight methods. All you'll have at your disposal is normal flight. I'm afraid it's going to be a little different. Yes. I know I made a promise to Chaos. I know 
that somehow I'll reach lost Jerusalem. Xion, I... May I? I want to go with you, Xion. <sighs> Thank you so much, Momo. But you know, you already have something to do here. You'll be working with Skientia to construct a brand new network. Make sure you do your very best. I will, Xion, Junior. Yeah, Momo, we'll be gone for a little while, so take care of this place. Okay, um... What is it? Will you be sure to say hello to Albedo for me? Yeah, I'll pass him the message when he wakes up. But he's pretty lazy, so I don't know when that'll be. <laughs> Ziggy, take care of Momo and Yuli for us, okay? Yes, of course. Don't worry. Concentrate on your mission. We'll see you soon. Until then. I'll be waiting for you. I'll keep waiting until you finally come back. Good luck. See you soon. The moon is gone And the night is still so dark I'm a little bit afraid Of tomorrow For this day was so long and hard for me And I've lost some of the things So far I have trusted Now I will close my heart and sleep a while Bless my dream with gentle darkness Until Now I think I understand what Wilhelm wanted to do just a little bit better. His methods may have been wrong, but now I think I understand the logic behind his reasons. Living the same life over and over again. But living those lives without any regrets is what really matters. That's probably what the ideal vision of being human is all about. However, we humans are really not that strong. And we know that we can't live like that. We're creatures that are much more flawed, weak, and smaller than that. We hurt others. We lie to ourselves. We hate. We blame others. We regret. But even if we are weak, and even if it is our fate to disappear entirely, I think the will to change the future is still an important one. We must try to change the things around us, little by little, even if it is one step at a time. And even if everything is already predetermined, it's not something for us to be sad about. No, on the contrary, the future is overflowing with hope, and we have infinite paths to choose from.
Isn't that right? Chaos. Cosmos. I guess both you and I still exist in this world after all. As long as people, as long as the universe desires it, we will continue to exist. We haven't finished what we need to do yet. So, until then, Sleep well, Cosmos. Good night.
Save the game?